Hello. Hello. Hey, how's it going? Um, I'm relieved right now. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Uh, uh, I had to add some uh, pictures to the imager album. So oh yeah, sure. Want to refresh it. Cool, cool, cool. Oh, you didn't. Uh, you didn't add any. Uh... <laughs> I've seen that trick before. Oh no no no! <laughs> no just, nah. just gotta that be. Would be smart, though. I gotta make sure. Yeah, that would be real smart if one of them was like an animated one and then it turned into something else by the time you get yeah, there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That'd be messed up if uh, another streamer did that to you, though. Oh, that well, that yeah. Well, I guess since you're partner, you have something to lose there, but exactly. Some people would do shit like that. Yeah, for sure. Did it happen to Pokemon like literally yesterday? <laughs> Yeah, I saw that. That was crazy. <laughs> like, she has a whole Discord with, like, dedicated link sharing with mods and everything, and then still it slips through somehow. Yeah, it still gets through. Yeah. Oh, well. People just... People want to fuck shit up. They they can eventually, like... Oh, yeah. With enough dedication and yeah. enough time. Yep, yeah, for sure. Okay. Uh, You added everything. Cool. Zoomies. Uh, we are doing a... Full accounting, cool. So, preliminary questions. Mm -hmm. Let's see, class, kana, level, what is it, 219? Uh, 222. 222 already? Damn, he, this guy, this boy leveling, okay. Um, how many? How much time to play? So I'm gonna guess that's a lot. Yeah, quite a bit. <laughs> <laughs> a little too much, unhealthy amount. Mm -hmm. Cool, cool. Um, Guess numbers of computers available doesn't really matter if you're kinda anyway. Yeah. Um, how much money do you have right now? Uh, nothing. Nothing. Okay. But I do about probably like three bill a week, if I with the amount I play. Mm-hmm. And now with the Mesa obtain I have. Okay. Okay. And what is the goal right now? Um, main goal is to get to a point where I'm getting decent enough rates that I can play my main because Kana is awful. Okay, so this is purely um, a funder. Yeah, purely farming. Okay. And what are you going to main? Uh, dual blade. Okay. The dual blade's 212 right now. Okay. So you're just doing the dailies there and then focusing most of the time on the Kana? Yeah, just doing the dailies and weeklies, and then solely doing the Kana and coin capping, obviously. Yep. Okay. Okay. How's the um, Legion and the Lynx coming along? Uh, Legion is at, I think, like, 1850 now. I'm basically, I'm doing, I'm trying to get a character to 120 to 140 a day, at minimum. Okay. And then Lynx, I'm just leveling as I go. I've mostly, mostly all the ones... I think I want. There's a few more I want to do, like uh, Luminous and stuff. Um, but working on the leveling ones to make everything kind of expedite that process. Okay. And so the Imager album's a mess because I'm a boomer. Okay. <laughs> it's a little bit all over the place. That's fine. That's yeah. why I like having it as an album so I can just scroll freely through it. Yeah, sorry about that. No, that's fine. Once I have like a little bit of a memory of where the things are, I'll know where to scroll. Okay. Right, so if you're purely going to be farming, then you want your um, inner ability to have uh, Mezzo obtained pretty much. Yeah. Um, drop rate's also good, of course, because you'll be getting more nodes, so you can level up, up faster on your on your dual blade. Mm -hmm. So both of those would be nice, but yeah, have a, most likely if you go for mesoptane first, then you're gonna have to get like a five percent item drop rate or something, or vice versa, like twenty and then five, because you'll mainly get epic lines. Not really. The unique lines are pretty rare for your second and third line on le on your inner ability, even if it's legendary. It'll mostly be epic lines. Okay. Um. Okay, so Legion's at 1.8, so you're just blocking this. That makes sense. Do, 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 do. Do, do, do. 
And once you get to 2k, your legion is gonna, your grid is start, gonna start growing. Yeah, it's good to get all the individual ones to 140 so that all of the characters that are in there have their full, um, kind of kind of their full potential, you know, because the jump from 140 to 200 is pretty considerable. So you can want to get them at least to 140. That's close enough to 100 to make it worth, but it's far enough from 200 to also have a good excuse to keep them there, basically. Okay. Um, yeah, your IED is really only relevant when you're really bossing, so you can just completely ignore IED and boss damage, pretty much. Okay, so re-roll the emblem? Um, yeah, that'll probably be... If you're purely just going to be a farmer, you probably want to re-roll the emblem just for pure magic attack, yeah. Okay. Uh, like the... If the top line was magic attack and then you had damage and intellect, then that would be really nice because it's all... They're not like the best lines, but they're all usable lines, so then it would be good. Yeah. But now we have ID, which you're not really using, damage, which is definitely a lot lower than magic attack, and intellect, which almost doesn't even compare to magic attack. So at this yeah. point, even though the lines are... They're like close to being good lines, but they're so far away from it still that there's a lot of missed potential there. So if you get two lines of magic attack, that would make your damage so much better yeah would you prioritize the emblem over trying to upgrade other pieces or would you go specifically for that kind of damage uh boost right off the bat so your main boost is coming from always always coming from your weapon your secondary and your emblem mm -hmm. that's like where because that's where the magic attack is and that's where yeah. also later on that's where your ied and your boss damage is if you do end up bossing with it um, and because magic attack is just so much better than the other stuff, that's like your trifecta. Once you have that in order, um, it's a very solid foundation to start making all of the other stuff um, value more once you get to it. So since it's already legendary, I would definitely prioritize this, yeah. Um, okay, cool. But I'll look what, what you, where your weapon and your secondary are, and then that's probably where we're going to focus the most on uh, for now. And then other than that, I'm also going to look at your Star Force because we do have Star Force events going on. Yeah. Uh, and I think eventually you want to get, um, is it like 16 to 18k stat around there, I think? To be able to uh, farm efficiently in um, in Arcana? I'm not sure. I've only been playing for about a month. Yeah, that's fine. Um, let me look at your boost nodes real quick. Say ah. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> what happened? It's like when you go to the doctor, like, I'm going to have take a look at your oh, boost gotcha, notes. Gotcha. Yeah, okay, lift your shirt real quick. <laughs> take a deep breath. <laughs> um, you got to use a zoom aid, too. Oh, you got three bosses right now? Okay. That'll help yeah, you get, so, deal good damage there. So the one thing I know is I want to get four boost notes, right? And alternating skills between all four of them, where two nodes are basically identical, but just a different variation. And then the other two are a different variation. So I'm working on that now. So I got... Like, that's not um, necessary, the, but you want every skill in there twice. They can be, like, in any order, whatever, okay. basically. Okay. So I have, since then, I've, I've gotten another boost note that mimics the um, Exorcist Charm and Boss, whichever one that is. So I have I have uh, two of those now, um, just okay. different, like, uh, in different order. So I'm trying to get rid of all the other boss ones and just get the other three abilities that I, I really want. You have one that starts with boss, or? Um, I think it... Let me actually look. So I see a Shiki, a Shiki Doppelganger boss, a Shiki, uh, though, an Exorcist Charm Tengu boss, and then a boss Yosuzume Tengu. So the new I one I got is, um, so is Tengu boss and then Exorcist. So it's the same, same one ah, as okay. Exorcist. Just one rotated, I see. Yeah. So I can swap that out. Yeah, but then you have to disassemble the one that starts with boss, right? True. But this one is already level 10, so that's definitely... Well, disassembling level 4 is not too bad, honestly. But disassembling... You definitely don't want to disassemble level 10. That's when it starts getting kind of painful. Yeah. So you're still looking for another one on the on the first? Which six skills are you looking for? So... I think the other one is basically Shimigami, uh, Shimigami Haunting. Um, and I honestly forget the other two skills I want. Yeah, so when Shikigami Haunting, you want Kishin, and then Yosuzume. Yeah. And Yosuzume. yeah. yeah so, so I'm looking for, basically, yeah, those three. Shikigami, um, 
Yasuzume and Kishin yep. in a node. Yeah, as long as you got those six skills right, it's all about just any boost node you open that could be a perfect try node. You hold that one, and then all the other ones you either throw onto an existing or you disassemble until at one point you see all the four that you need. Hopefully, <laughs> they'll be the same starter skills as the ones you already have high level boost nodes of, and then you can use the high level ones as the level up fodder for the the new to be try nodes, and then re equip them, and then boom, done. Okay. There's like there's no loss there. There's only loss when you have to disassemble, and that's pretty significant. I think it's like seventy percent shard loss or something. It's pretty, <laughs> pretty, okay. pretty crazy. But if you use them as a as a level up fodder, it's like one hundred percent efficiency. All right, cool. Yep. Um, other than that, um, I guess decent sharp eyes can be helpful, especially in the beginning for your critical rate. But as you level, you'll get some more. Wait, you might have decent sharp eyes on now, actually, don't you? Ah, uh, yeah, I have two of those. And you can level, you can unlock an extra slot for not too much money. I wouldn't never unlock two extra though. That's quite expensive. Yeah, I have that extra slot now since I hit uh, two twenty, so that was unlocked. Mm -hmm. Was well, so are you using like sharp eyes and an extra boost node? So now I'm just using four boost nodes: uh, holy symbol, spirit circle, and then the other abilities you start with. So spirit's domain and. Uh, okay, okay. So you haven't email. unlocked an extra right now. No, I haven't unlocked like an uh, extra one. How much is that for you, right? Uh, it's like 93. 93. Oh, 93. Oh, that's pretty cheap, yeah. And then okay. Sengoku Force Assemble, is that ever useful? Yeah, that's pretty useful. It's like a summon and they just go around the map killing everything. They just help you okay. out. The uptime is not crazy, but it's definitely not bad. So it, it is kind of useful. Would you take useful. that over, Decent Sharp Eyes? Um... Mm, that's a good question. I guess if you need the crit rate, I'd rather go for the sharp eyes to just guarantee that every hit is a crit, because then you guarantee that the critical damage applies to every hit. Okay. And critical damage is, is big, and it gives 8% critical damage on itself as well. And especially when you start building your legion, you'll go into critical damage for a big damage boost there as well, so the having the 100% crit is going to be important. And you do have to keep in mind that right now, if you have uh, rank 5 enabled, you have 20% critical rate there. That's gonna that's gonna be gone when the event is over. Okay. So you wanna be able to fill that gap with either crit in your legion or the characters that are in your legion that give you critical rate, or with a combination of hyper stats, decent sharp eyes, those things, or inner ability critical rate. But I think you wanna avoid needing that on um on your farmer and rather just give um phantom or beast tamer links. Okay. You have those Phantom Beast Tamer. Like we probably don't have a Beast Tamer yet, right? Haven't been able to create don't one. Don't have a don't have a Beast Tamer. Have mm -hmm. a Phantom. Okay. It's gonna be fifteen percent crit rate. That's pretty dope. Oh yeah. So yeah, Phantom. Phantom is at level one still, or is it level two already? Uh, it's at one ten. So it's ten more oh, levels, yeah. right? For yep. level two. Yeah, pretty close. Okay. Got that. Um, sickness. You know that the sickness blessing stacks into one slot if you have multiple. I didn't know that. Oh yeah, so you can just keep linking and they'll just all go into the same slot up to five at level two each up to level 10. So they only take up one slot in your uh, in your skill. Right, awesome. Yep. That's so leveling up all Cygnus are beneficial then? Yep. Okay. They can give you up to, what is it, 25 magic attack, I think, if you have all of them. Okay. That's pretty nice. Um, let's see, so the same thing happens with the um, the Explorer links as well. So the Explorer Thief, you can have three different... Uh, so it has to be five different Sickness Knights and have to be like three different Explorer Thieves can all link into the same slot up to level six as well. Same with the Mages, with the Pirates, with the Warriors, with the Archers. Okay, cool. Uh, yeah, I didn't know that. And there's one more and that's the Resistance link. You're going to want that one for your, um, for your bossing. So the resistance characters have the invulnerability for two seconds, and those all stack into one slot as well, up to eight seconds of invulnerability when you respawn. Okay. Yeah, so that's, uh, yeah, you don't have to use like five different slots for that. That would be pretty brutal. Yeah. yeah they just uh, stack into one. Uh, let's see. So you got the wild rage, you got your. So now you're working on just getting all of them to 120 and then eventually to 140 for the extra. Legion space. Yeah, exactly. I have yep. a lot of them parked around 100, and I'm just running Zekum every day for a couple free levels, and then yep. I'll just choose one and start, you know, grinding on that one. Exactly. Yeah, I think that's pretty efficient. Zekum experience early on is super good. 
It used yeah, to be easier yeah. back in the day because you used to have two daily, two runs of Zakuma day, so that process was actually quite fast. Hmm. And also bosses used to drop straight up money instead of the crystals, so I would get like epic inner ability with like 8 or 9 or 10% mezzo obtain and then run Zakuma on all my characters twice a day every day. <laughs> and it actually <laughs> makes nice. some kind of money in some cubes and then yeah. and this was way before flames of course, but then all of those cubes would go back into my other characters to fund it and it was a whole... A whole little cyclical mini economy going within the game. Different meta. Yeah, yeah, it was way different for sure. That's cool. Okay. Um, so this is the general stuff. So your critical rate is already up to 70 with this. So with the Phantom, that'll be closer to 80. I hope the Beast Tamer comes out. Beast Tamer is very good, especially for a kind of farmer, because you got that critical rate and the uh, and the percentage HP as well. Do they uh, ever announce when they're uh but not the beast tamer is that very kind of late random? yeah they they do announce it it's typically around the summer and the winter because that's when most people are playing so that's when i want people to come back and to play these characters gotcha so like nexon level communication yeah yeah very okay. uh, and sometimes i just completely forget and then if people complain enough they'll like release it anyway that kind of thing so if awesome. you don't get any announcement in like the next month then you gotta start like harassing <laughs> well not harassing but like <laughs> going on the forums. harassing adjacent uh <laughs> <laughs> levels of communication to try to get through you know gotcha okay um doo -doo -doo -doo. before we get into the equips themselves um how familiar are you with all of the ways of upgrading gear uh pretty familiar i've watched a lot of your other gear progression mm -hmm. is i don't know how to uh i don't fully understand the flame score you give things but i understand why it gets that score for mm -hmm. example like when you're upgrading something and you get all stat no jump and stats you know obviously that's going to be really good and the amount of stat and the uh, different tiers the higher the tier um or the higher the item level the higher tier can be so mm -hmm. you aim for you know high tiers like well it could be the same tier weapon. but a higher number within the tier yeah i, so I know that's what so, you mean but it's, yeah so the like a weapon if you get a high attack high like you get all stat and then you get your main stat like that would be you know something good if they were high tiers mm -hmm. so that i, I kind of have a general understanding nothing crazy yeah so um so you understand what the tiers meant but not really how you uh, what the score means but not really how you get to the numbers or or just how you would grade the score like what, what like for example if you get, or if you roll a seven percent all stat like how how you would calculate that into the flame score so it's basically kind of experience on knowing how good the outcome possibly can be, um, how how difficult that is to get, and which score is. It, it just kind of comes down to experience and seeing how much everyone gets and kind of knowing like this is, like go, going for more than this just takes so much money and takes so much time that it's just not worth going beyond this pretty much. Okay. Um, because the theoretical maxes are insanely high. You can get like 220 flame score or something on your arcane stuff, like theoretically. But to okay. realistically try to go for that is just, it's just crazy. It. Yeah. It's like trying to roll 36 or like 39% stat on red cubes or something. Yeah, like so it's possible, but, <laughs> but you're rolling like hundreds of billions at, at that point and probably not getting it. So, yeah. um, and because flaming is kind of time consuming, like you have to drag the flame every time. The like cubing is fast compared to flaming, so it also consumes a lot of time to do this. So, at some yeah, point, I yeah. really haven't done any flaming whatsoever. It's mostly been if I get a flame, I'll re-roll. You know, I've been re-rolling for a pink bean cup, mm -hmm. um, because on my main, the first pink bean cup I ever got was like forty luck, six percent all stat. Yeah. Which and and it was attack too. I think it's like three three attack, forty luck, six percent all stat. Yeah, you keep so that for a while. <laughs> yeah, that that's great, and that was the first one I ever found. But yeah. on my condom, it's pretty bad but i get a lot of mp and hp which gives me a little bit of magic attack so the damage is okay on it for now mm -hmm. so if you would throw all your stats into a giant calculator it could at any time it could tell you how much luck equals one attack how much or like how much stat equals one attack how much attack equals how much all stat how much all stat equals how much stat the problem is though as you keep progressing in gear as your gear gets stronger it's gonna the balance of all of these numbers is going to keep shifting and every time the balance shifts, technically your flame score and how good your flame is compared to how good you need it to be also shifts. 
So the reason I have the, the score is so that you know that what it, your eventual endpoint is going to be. You can grade your flame on that endpoint and not on the current point, so you don't have to reflame everything three times before you get there. Okay. So you know that once you get at that point, it's going to be a good flame. And that might be that might mean it's technically suboptimal at this current time, but you will like it, it's like buying clothes that you're going to grow into basically. Okay. Um, so for Kana, it's a bit more complicated because of the HP and the MP, but do you know in general how that works? Yeah, all the MP is converted into HP and it's like 700 HP equals one magic attack. Yeah, exactly. Okay. So that's why the flames with a lot of, especially the higher levels, you can see that you're getting a lot of HP and MP, right? Mm -hmm. Um, so that ends up becoming quite a lot of magic attack and because magic attack is still generally, if you're just going to go to the, the farming levels, still, um, like approximately worth four stat um you can see that if you have 2000 hp if you have some percentage hp and it gets it could very quickly just get doubled and become 4000 and then divided by 700 that's like that's almost six magic attack so that's like okay. 24 flame score right there just in okay. a stack of 2000 so it can as it can start adding up pretty quickly which is really good for kana because that means that even with a few just a few flames it's very possible to hit like where your average outcome for your flame is for Kana is very high. Okay. But your possible highest outcome is about the same as everyone else. But you'll get closer to that way more easily because you have way more bases that you can hit that give you damage, basically. Yeah. Um, you know about the difference about flame advantage, not flame advantage and everything? Yeah. Yep. Okay. As long as we've had those priorities. Yeah, because I imagine your cup looks... Okay, an initial, initially when you look at it, it seems pretty bad because it's like very low intellect and luck and like a little bit of HP and MP and defense. But if you calculate, it's probably, it's probably decent-ish, I would say. Yeah, that's why I've been flaming an extra cup. Six, three, four, five, to keep that one. Seven, eight, nine, four, seven. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if it was like 55 to 60 flame score. Which is like okay. I wouldn't be surprised. I mean, just like quick maths. I don't know how much percentage HP you have in total, but I think it's it's a bit. I'm at like a hundred thousand health. <laughs> have you have you calculated your um your um HP multiplier? I haven't. Okay, let's see if we can do that. Real I know quick I know here. a good amount of my um legendaries have HP rolls with the mace soap sand. Mm-hmm. Damn, I keep mistyping this. This one, kind of flame. Do you have, um, let's see, which piece of equipment do you have that only gives you HP and MP and no percentage HP or percentage MP? Is your, has your belt changed? Uh, belt hasn't changed. 10 star, 6%. But it 6%. has three lines now. Okay, and is any of that percentage HP? No. Okay. Um, so if you unequip the belt and then re-equip it, how much, um... HP do you gain? Almost 2,000. Almost 2,000. What's the exact number so we can use that? Sure. Let's Five, break out the calculator. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so it has 330 HP and 200 MP. So 1,632. 1,632, okay, 1,632. All right, and then we divide that. So we have, dude, one, six, no. Oh. Divided by 530. So, Okay, that's pretty high. So that's you have a basically a three, three point oh eight as your multiplier. So that means that the flame score of that cup is going to be even higher than I initially thought. So if you divide this by one seven five, boom. It's a, you get this beautiful number. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how many numbers after the comma. So if you multiply this by any source of HP or MP you have, that's gonna be the equivalent flame score for that line for you. Okay. 
So if you have 2,000, for example, then you just t t times 2,000. So just a line of 2,000 for you is a 35 flame score. Okay. So that's why the cup, so the cup is probably even higher than I thought, because your multiplier is quite a bit higher than I thought. The last people were around a 2, and you're around a 3, so that means there's 50% more efficiency on HP and MP lines than there was for them. Yeah. Um, so if you go back to, hang on, divide by 2,000. So now we can calculate your flame score for your cup exactly, right? So you have 3,360 uh, added there, so we do times 3,360. So that's 59 flame score in just this, and then we add 16 for the intellect, and then it's like eight to one for luck, so we can do plus two to be exact. So the flame score of this cup is 77. Okay. Which is, so if you had 77 intellect and zero everything else, that would be roughly the same. Once, maybe not now, now maybe that would be better, but once mm -hmm. all of your stuff is kind of settled, that would be roughly the same. So the one thing is there though, we do keep, you do have your, there's like one caveat there is that we look at your current HP multiplier and your HP multiplier could go down as you roll out of percentage HP. Yeah. So that is that is one thing to keep in mind. Like if you rely very heavily on HP and MP now, it is possible that it does go down uh, once you once you lose those lines. So okay. the, the basis is still main stat, all stat, and then if you have some magic attack, some HP, some MP, you can rely on that. So you do have those three that you can rely on, but mainly stat and percentage is what you're going to be relying on. Cool. Okay. Um, so that all makes sense. And now let's look into the extra, uh, the actual equip. So the goal is just Arcana farming there and then pretty much staying there forever, helping your dual blader, right? Yes. Mm-hmm. And you're already getting close to 225, so Arcana is around the corner. Thank God. <laughs> I heard the um. Oh God, what map is it? Um, the the Earth Spirit map is kind of okay for Kanas as well. Like one of the earlier, lower level maps. If um, if Lacanine is too full and the later Arcana maps are too difficult, because you know, where's your Arcane Power at right now? Uh, Arcane Power is uh, like 220 or something. Uh, two ton, yeah. Damn, good guess. Yeah. Okay. Um. Okay, so you want that to be at five forty eventually. Okay. Extra symbol. Um. Arcana's really cool there, though, because you can get eighteen symbols a day pretty much immediately. The tricky one is to not get the kills, um, the kill quest for the high level monsters that you can't kill yet, or that are in maps that are full. So. You're gonna have to look at the maps, what the names of the monsters are, and re-roll appropriately. And if you get unlucky, then ask people if you can, <laughs> um, if you can uh, fight in their map, I guess. Yeah. Um, most of the time, people are just farming all day, every day, so they don't mind taking like a two-minute break. Um, people are much more positively responsive there than I initially thought. A lot more people are inclined to just um, let you have a crack at it for a few minutes, and you're a Kana, so you'll be done fast anyway, so they know that. Yeah, true. Um, okay. Do you know about the, um, cause as you're building your legion as well, you know about like your legion power, how all of that works for your, for your legion? Uh, for the most part. Like where the damage that. comes from? Uh, the, where the damage comes from? No, I don't know that. Okay. So it's a combination of your level and of your star force on your character. Okay. And then with every 60 star force, you, you'd make like a decent bump there. Between In between the 60s, your number just goes up a little bit, but barely noticeably. But if you can hit, if you're very close to hitting a next cap. So 60 is typically very easy to get on a mule. Um, 120 is doable, but you need to get like a few of these the extra items. But if you're really close to that, that, that could be worth getting the 120. Um, okay. So you can feel a little bit of an extra bump there. And then it'll just be all the more extra value on every single character. And it's one of those things where doing it on one character one time doesn't really make much of a difference. But if you can do it on a lot of characters, it starts adding up and then you start snowballing. You get access to way more coins. The new characters are is easier to boost, etc., etc. And then, you know, once you hit that 3.5 4K Legion, you'll start feeling like every new character you play is significantly stronger than uh, 
the last one where you were working on. Yeah, for sure. Okay. Uh, so this is gonna be me. Kind of mm -hmm. Um. Yeah. How's your uh, honor experience income right now? Uh, pretty bad. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm pegging it, just throwing it in, trying to get Meso obtained. Mm -hmm. Um. I would just save until there's a fifty percent off inner ability reroll. Those come by every now and then for sure. Uh, and then you'll just have twice the amount of rolls doing an event like that. Okay. Because you still have to lock legendary, so every roll is... How much is every roll now? Like 3k or something? Um, For locking the legendary, it's 10k per roll. Ooh, yeah, 10.1. Yeah, that's pretty steep, right? Yeah. So um, I was going to... Since I, I have all of the event rings on my Kana, I was going to save a lot of my honor and just keep buying the honor um, badges each week. <laughs> for, what is it, like 50... 50 something k a week um do those reset i don't know i thought they did maybe mm. they don't i don't think they do no oh, rip <laughs> <laughs> i just bought them out on um on a sunday but i don't think they are uh... um, brandon is very i'm happy. also doing um i do a lot of the dojo yeah so dojo will help you um and in general it's like bosses so even the low level bosses will give you a decent amount of honor experience just doing root abyss for example i think every single root abyss boss gives you like five to six hundred okay yeah i do basically every boss i can every single day okay. on uh, the two characters i play the most so I, I do get quite a bit from that yeah yeah that's nice but I, I would save it up until so once this this event cycle doesn't have another 50 percent off but once we get into the next event cycle you can check the sunny sundays on the event tab and then um, it'll say which week has the 50% off. And then, you know, you just prepare for that one. And then, yeah, get the Mesoptane roll. If you do get um, item drop roll, that's not necessarily bad, of course, because you can use the nodes for sure as well. Like money yeah. seems, money feels more universal because you can see that number of money go up and it just, you know, all the applications that money has. But nodes just make your final damage go up and final damage is really, really good. <laughs> So it, yeah. it, it, it is more difficult to see the value in that, but it, it would also be really good if you hit that one. Okay. Um, um, let's see. Yeah, for your hyper stats, I would, I would just um, keep pumping into your critical damage for now and then rely on all the other sources that we mentioned for your critical rate later. So don't forget that we have Night Lord and Marksman that give critical rate just for them being in your legion. So that's very useful. Okay. And then if Beast Hammer comes back, um, Phantom gets the higher level. And then at addition of decent sharp eyes, you should hit the 100 there. The problem is once the 20% um, the of the current event goes away, you have to find a way to fill that gap. So that's probably going to be by putting um, Legion in your, uh, or blocks in your Legion uh, grid, I should say, in critical rate itself. It's not that expensive because it's like 1% per uh, per block covered. So I think once you get to 3... Once you get to 3k Legion, you should have enough space there to uh, help your character get to a, keep at 100%. And once you keep at 100%, all the critical damage is going to apply and then your damage is going to be good. Okay. Um, yeah, so the... So we're talking about the trifecta, the weapon, the emblem, and the... Um, and the secondary, so let's see, this is your main weapon is the 11 star Sweetwater. The other, so my Haku fan is actually just a uh, clean, I think 10 or 11 star Sweetwater fan. Mm -hmm. um, I Definitely. get my Fafnir today. So I was gonna make that my main fan or my secondary fan, depending. I was yeah, thinking the Fafnir would be better for main considering the just the extra boss damage for maybe daily bossing and it would get a better flame so it might be mm -hmm. better to use that as the main and then just use that uh sweet water as secondary for haku yeah i think it'll t it'll mainly depend on um what kind of uh potential you get on there mm -hmm. so um do you know all about the like which potentials and how the magic attack and everything works for your secondary because it's a bit different than all the other kind of the, stuff my understanding is that just magic attack is the only thing that does anything for the Haku fan. I might be wrong though. 
So on the stats of the item itself. So, okay. So you're basically none of the stats on the fan itself, like transfer directly. The potential does, but only if it's percentage magic attack or percentage intellect. And then okay. that just works if that's the potential. And then the total magic attack of the fan um, gets transferred through a skill that Haku has, and that a percentage of that gets added to you as a buff. So if you're in your Kana now, if you look on the top right, there's a. If you have Haku the 40%, summoned. Yeah. yeah, it's like, I think right. it. Yeah, I think with uh, decent sharp eyes, it goes up to. Uh, sorry, decent combat orders, I think it goes up to 42% or something. Yeah, so that number is a set a bonus, though, as soon as Haku gets summoned. So if you switch fans or everything, make sure that you. Um, disable that skill and then let it reapplies to make sure that it's the active number of the fans that you actively have uh, have on if you're switching stuff around to see which one is better for example okay um, but yeah so once you have both of them like have an okay flame you have potential that has magic attack and stats um, what you can just do is wear them in one um, in one configuration and then Switch them, disassemble the, uh, or dis sorry, disable the skill, and then just see if your range goes up or down compared to that. And that'll okay. that'll be good enough for mobbing. Of course, when you're bossing, then the extra boss damage on the Fafnir does come into play, of course. And it's pretty much always going to be better to have the Fafnir as your main weapon. Because the set bonus does also not apply if it's on the Haku, only if it's in your main character's hands. Okay. Um, oh yeah, and all stats also works, of course, but only the intellect portion of that part works. So it gives you 7%. So if you use this one as your Haku fan, it would give you 10% magic attack and the 7% all stat, and then 40% of the 292. That's why the Fafni, uh, the Sweetwater is quite popular as a Kana fan because of the very high base magic attack that it has. Okay. Um, but yeah, so if you ha flame that gave more magic attack or higher star force, that wouldn't get directly applied to you in magic attack, but through that skill, it would, so. Okay. Uh, let's see. Oh yeah, and the soul also doesn't work on the Haku fan, but only on your main fan. Uh, Something to, to keep in mind. Um, okay, yeah, so between how much money you have and everything, I'm guessing that the, yeah, if you're close to your Fafnir fan, that's where a lot of your money is going to be going. Um, but you're basically going to purely be aiming for magic attack for everything, right? Since you're just going to be farming. Yeah. Basically just going for as much damage as possible because yeah. I'm losing so much with the Mesa rolls until I am able to uh, kind of re-roll those. Yeah, eventually you want to get Mezzo plus one line of... Um, like the monocle is pretty good. It's 20% Mezzo and then 10% Intellect and 10% Luck, which also gives you a little bit of something. So that's yeah. actually really good. Like ideally you'd want rolls like that on all of your um, on all of your gear. Nice epic roll on the Vengeful Reboot ring. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> Always happens. Yeah, like the Kana treasure is kind of painful. Like you have the Mezzo obtained, so it's good for now. You can make money faster, but then, you know, once you do the have that money, stats. yeah, you do want to reroll it, because yeah. you, you know percentage MP doesn't do anything, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, defense. Defense is a dead stat since 2000 and <laughs> what 12 or something. I don't know why it's yeah. even in the game. Um, I think only Hayato scale off of it a little bit, up to like 10% over there, potential or something. So, so it's <laughs> basically you're saying is I shouldn't stack like all defense rolls and then roll final damage defense on my inner? That's not a viable build? Sadly it isn't, no. Oh man, I was really looking forward yeah, to that. Yeah, really, that, that very niche, uh, mm -hmm. <laughs> you were trying to upset the meta yes. with that one. Yep, that was my new meta build. <laughs> I mean, if there was any kind of way to get like final damage increase or something based on defense in your inner ability, that would really blow up the meta for sure. I hope that they do some kind of rework of inner ability on KMS because there's hundreds of lines in there that are just completely unnecessary. Yeah. Uh, if they could make that more relevant, especially because the attack speed plus one is pretty much not used in all of KMS either, but it's like dominating the GMS meta. I think that could That's upset a lot of uh, calculations and such. But. Uh, okay, let's go through the gear real quick. So you got the three set there. You got the cup with the two. Okay, mm -mm -mm. so you got six. Four and five. 
so you know about flame scores so you know which items you have like in your priorities of which ones to do first which ones to do later yeah okay that's good so enough to go into that i know the much. the pants with my current situation are decent because of all the hp and mp um they're the pants i actually have are different than the oh they're I different than i guess yeah okay yeah so these are 20 luck 20 in um and for 4500 to HP. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's a lot. So it's almost the same as the cup. Mm -hmm. It's a little higher. Mm -hmm. 60 intellect shoes, lol. <laughs> <laughs> you get these weird rolls sometimes. Yeah. Yeah, gloves and shoes and... Gloves and shoes are typically like kind of awkward in the current meta. Like, what do you do with this? So what you have now is fine. Yeah, I haven't been doing anything to the shoes or glove because eventually I figure I'll I'll get abs. So. Yeah, you so you have like a, a line towards abs already. Do you have? Because you're in path. I I guess that guild does some stuff in yeah, that they, direction. Yeah, they do. They do carries and stuff. So, yeah. they will once uh, once I'm ready or like yeah. once I have enough uh, whatever of the cell things. Uh, you gotta level your domain, I guess, or I don't know what the requirements what? are. Do you yeah, have to level your domain or just a, a certain level of uh, of contribution? Oh no, I have the contribution. It's just I don't I haven't done enough weeklies to even be able to afford. Uh, I see. Getting the coins because it's what 20, 20 of the yeah, it's pretty brutal. <laughs> yeah, per, twenty per yeah. coin. Yeah. So I haven't even like looked into running it, okay, but they're always doing that kind of stuff. Okay. Cool. Uh, so you have five set one two three four five seven here. Earrings are just placeholders. Yeah, it's kind of awkward what you do with like earrings now, huh? Yeah. Golix is so far out there. The Golix sets were always kind of OP and kind of a no-brainer to get for Kanas because you could just go double three set double dip in the percentage HP and the magic attack and it was so easy to get a lot of damage there. But yeah, now those are <laughs> for that was ridiculous too. Now they're now they're just so far removed. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Unique cape. Oops, did the Master Craftsman cube accidentally. <laughs> no, nope, just dropped like this. I got two unique capes. Oh nice, nice. And they both rolled like the same exact stuff. Oh. Same line. So I just kept this one. Yeah. From the uh, the e bosses. Yeah, 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 for sure. The the chance for unique is actually decent. Yeah. I think I have on my Demon Avenger. I have every single piece of pencil or unique, all just from that. It's crazy. I kept one unique set just for. <laughs> the drop chance has to be like still kind of low, right? For just uniques dropping. Yeah, it is. Yeah, but even from regular potential, in all the time I've been playing, the most that you get is from um, from like Ramaru, because he has like. Madman has guaranteed epic and then also a decent chance for unique. Yeah, I've, I've noticed I found a few uniques from him and I was yeah. surprised. Well, that can be good stuff. Well, epic or unique can be good stuff to uh, transfer hammer into Absolab. Are you kind of doing some pre-work on that? Yeah, I, I noticed you've been running uh, Ranmaru for like shoulders and stuff. Mm -hmm. and so I've just been keeping pieces from him because I figure I can transfer it to uh, Abso. So I, I have... um some extra pieces of like, you know, shoulders, stuff like that, just to uh, transfer. Yeah, because so I think, yeah. I, th I think farming quite a bit up uh, into the Star Force event and then kind of focusing on getting 15 stars on some stuff would be beneficial. I don't know if that if you would prioritize that, but I thought that might be a better route than focusing mainly on cubing. Yeah, so the Abzo is still pretty far out from what you're saying. Um, but you are aiming towards it, and we have no boom now, and we have a 51015 coming this Sunday, and I think another 30% off either the week, I think the week after that. So I think weapons would probably be main priority for this weekend, right? Um, Getting those to like 17 star maybe, or? Weapons? Oh, you're um... Like mm -hmm. the Fafnir fan and then the Haku fan, maybe starring those. Well, you said you had no, no money right now, right? How much can you make before, um... Uh... Um, I do Before about Sunday. two two fifty an hour at uh, Slurpee. Okay. So I could probably get, and then we I have Maple Tour, and then I do like two hundred a day, for, or roughly 
maybe 150 a day from bosses so i could probably have maybe like two bill by the weekend if i played a lot mm -hmm. maybe one more which okay. would be maybe enough to do i, I don't I actually don't know how much it would that how far that would get me yeah so for the numbers you can do some calculations in their uh yeah you have a calculator for that right numbers. yeah someone else yeah. made it i'm just free to run it <laughs> Um, for anything, I say there's probably a command for that. <laughs> pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. Your weapon will go from 0 to 17 during 5, 10, 15. No, so. Well, let's do up to 16 with no safeguard. With star catching. For new weapon, 456. And then 16 to 17 with safeguarding. That can't be right. The fuck? <gasps> the what? With the average cost of getting from 16 to 17 during a 5, 10, 15 with safeguard and level 150 item is the same cost as getting from as getting from 0 to 16. Wow. During the same event with no boom room. <laughs> Holy <laughs> shit. It's actually more expensive to get from 16 to 17 than to get from 0 to 16. Did not know that. So during a 5, 10, 15. 16? Whew. That is... <laughs> That is rough. Um, Cause I mean the the stars past fifteen are really significant, right? Yeah, in terms of crazy good. Yeah. So what I'm thinking of is that maybe it's important to is this. I think one of the things you want to do is save up money to get um, the Ramaru stuff you have that you can that you are going to transfer hammer into Abzo to get all of that stuff to 15 during the 30% off. Okay. Because if you go for 0 to 15, no safe card during... Oh, it's... It's not exactly right because I can do like, oh, no safeguard, but it's going to include costs of items booming and having to redo them. Oh, okay. Even though we have no boom, of course. So the number isn't exactly correct here. But so, that actually you... means that the early number should be even lower than the later it's, one. The safeguarding it just double the price? Yeah, it doubles the price. But during a 30% you... off, you don't get a discount on the safeguard, only on the basic amount. Would you be able to just divide the total cost in half? to get the final cost of with safe, uh, with free safeguard? Or would that not work? Well, the problem is the expected booms. If you do 0 to 16 and you do no safeguard, you see it's going to have like a 0.22 boom. So that means it's that's like almost a 40% uh, well, that's a 22% chance to blow up, so it's almost like one in four. So this should be like a hundred mil lower, probably like a hundred and twenty, hundred and ten mil lower. Oof, numbers, tricky. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, getting uh one fifty, and then from zero to fifty during the thirty percent off. Um, no safeguard, whatever. Yeah, so it would be quite a bit cheaper than this. But I think it's good to like kind of keep this number anyway. Yeah. Um, but if you do that for the gloves, the shoe, the cape, and you're not going to have a backup weapon, right? Um, I have backup Sweetwaters, but not a backup uh, Fafnir. I wonder if you have to go for an Absolute weapon. Probably don't. Do you get a set bonus for the absolute weapon with the other pieces? Um. Yeah. You go. Mm. Shoe capsule. So you go for the five set, right? But I think the five set is boss. Yeah. 
It's 30% boss damage and 20 weapon and magic attack. But of course, the clean Abzo is uh, pretty high in stat. Said it wouldn't yeah. make the flames better as well. I mean, it's definitely better. It's like a stronger item. And if you have more, it's going to be quote unquote better. Mm -hmm. um, but is it I mean, worth how, how much how better it is? You need to be one shotting like the, the mobs that I'm going to be farming. Yeah, so people said you need to at least 540 arcane power and you want six somewhere like 16 to 18k stat should be enough as long as your boost nodes are like max or close to max. So I might, might potentially just be able to skip the Absolute weapon. I, th I think you don't need to go that far, yeah. As long as everything is like unique with one or two lines of intellect. Your WSE has like two lines of magic attack each. You have some event rings because those have a lot of very good high base stats and your flames are somewhat okay. Mm -hmm. Then I think you'll be able to make that because you'll just be able to get a lot of arcane power as you keep leveling. And that'll make your intellect go up a lot. Yeah. Uh, Just not rolling the chaos ring. Oh, that one has some HP. The current chaos ring is a current chaos ring is H. Uh, it has a little bit of HP, MP, no int, but five magic attack at the moment. Mm. And that was the last roll. That's not too bad. Yeah, it's not terrible. So it's minus one in 150 HP, 250 MP, and five magic attack. Mmm. It's a max roll MP, two, plus three HP, max in, max magic attack. Hmm. Only minus one intellect. That sounds pretty good, actually. Yeah. I was thinking of keeping it. Yeah, I think you could keep that for now, for sure. Yeah. Guess you're so I'm not. I'm not too concerned about min maxing that. Mm-hmm. But I have until like October, yep. or n November. To <laughs> yeah, it's so crazy long. I thought it was like one or two months, but apparently you have like six. So yeah, no huge. So I might even re-roll it just because. That's There's so much time. Yeah. Four four weeks in a month. It's only. Yeah, that's like, well, that's a ton of rolls. <laughs> that's like two hundred plus rolls. Yeah. It's too much big math for yeah. a mushroom game. <laughs> Um, dude, the 7% all set on the Mechanator is so <laughs> tricky. Yeah. In the yeah, the 7% all set and then the insane amount of HP. Mm hmm. So your multiplier I've been going like for a Dom Pendant, but I just can't seem to find one. They're pretty rare until you get yeah. more drop rate on your stuff. Um, even with like decent holy symbol and with. Um, all of my drop rate gear on my characters and with well i haven't been doing it every day religiously anymore but um i usually use a drop rate coupon um i haven't gotten one since the familiars were gone hmm. familiars yeah, really increased a my, lot i had drop rate on my inner but i re-rolled it because all the connas in my guild said nah you want meso bro and i'm like all right mm -hmm. now i'm pissed i re-rolled it because <laughs> i spent probably like two hundred fifty thousand honor yeah i see well, the safe thing there is you could re-roll with, um, with circulators, right? And then if it's not what yeah. you want, you can always keep the old one. True. Mm. Oh, like, you're gonna be making fuck ton of money once you have that. Okay. Um... So... You get that in place. Yeah, so I think getting the um, level 150 um, Japanese stuff, getting that to 15 star during the 30% off is going to be very important. You just keep that until you have Abzo. Wait for another 5, 10, 15. Get it to 16. Transfer it. Get it to 16 again. And then safeguard it to 17. And then you're done with the Abzo stuff. Um, oh. You can pre-flame the Abzo stuff because the flames don't get replaced. Uh, just don't invest in the potential before. Because the potential... Potential does get replaced. Hello. 
Hello, Fates. Thanks for the resub, my dude. 21 months. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Thanks, dude. Um, yeah, apart from that, you know your order of your flames. You're working, we're working on your cup, but I guess um, with the scores and everything. Yeah, so if you do change a lot of your percentage HP, um, you do want to recalculate the um, the multiplier again, like we just did with like yeah, your belt, for example. Um, I do an anticipate it to change a bit. Like now it's a three. Like I intended it to. I think it's gonna change to like a two. Because you're gonna keep some, and you're yeah. gonna have some set bonuses happening. What belt do you usually go for? Later? Um. So it's either this one or a Chaos Sakum or a Ping Bean one. Okay. So the Golden Clover belt is decent? Yeah, because that okay. also fits into the set bonus. Cool. And it is um, considered a flame advantage, so you can get some good flames on that too. Okay. Do, do, do. Yeah, as for earrings and stuff like that, I guess just like keep you're you're still killing the bosses, just yeah, if you find one that has a really good flame, switch over until then just hold these. Okay. Yeah, it's it's, it's gonna be just gonna be a matter. You don't want to dump like a whole bunch of money into flaming like some level one thirty earrings. It just feels a little bit awkward. But if yeah. you're, if you're still doing um, either Chaos Horntail or Hilla, both have earrings that fit in the in the set. Um, and if you have multiple, you could also fuse the backups. Do you know about fusing and everything? Yeah. Okay. Although leveling alchemy now is not very fun, but <laughs> it's a good Definitely investment. Fun, but yeah, that's that's what I'm working on now. Okay. I um I'm always looking out for those coupons from the RA bosses that level your professions by one. Oh yeah, that's those very really useful. Nice to find. Yep. So um, just dump those into alchemy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Apart from that, like it's going to be uh, waiting for your weapon, uh, getting as much magic attack there as possible, and then deciding if you want to keep the current potential. Well, you're going to keep the current potential for your and put it on your Kana fan. And then potentially maybe re-roll it to legendary later. Uh, but I would want to put the focus on prepping your gear for Abzo transfer readiness. Um, okay. But focus on the 30% off for that to get to 15. And then, because 5, 10, 15 come back every now and then. And then just in the next cycle, once you have the Abzo stuff ready. So it's going to be a little patience. But the, the power of transfer hammer is that you can do the pre-work now. And then benefit from the sale now. And then reap the rewards later, basically. Cool. Gonna save a lot of money there. Yeah, yeah and then reroll emblem potential after that. That's gonna give you a lot of damage. Keep working on the boost nodes on the dailies. Uh, and then you should be farming um, Arcana at like a billion an hour rates in no time. <laughs> Perfect. Just what I need. Yeah. Um, yeah, so the set bonus for the boss accessory set. Uh, keeping that at a five set bonus is probably good enough with everything. I'm because I'm yeah. I was looking at your eye and face and I don't know if it's worth ever like switching that over to like a tattoo or something. Well, I have um, I have a pretty decent golden clover belt. Mm -hmm. Um, and it it, it would in, if I potential did it would increase my range if I got rid of the Ayami's treasure and split up that set and went for that. So mm -hmm. I might end up doing that. Just getting a Epic scroll from U Garden and throwing that on and sw swapping out my belt currently for uh, the Golden Clover. Mm -hmm. Remember, if you do end up going for Abzo, that you're going to break up the shoulder too. True. So then maybe then going back to the IMA belt might be good again because it's already epic. But, yeah. But then you'd be missing out on the boss to your flame there. Mm -hmm. Um. But yeah, keep your uh, keep your options open. I guess you don't have to like get rid of the item. You can still mix and match later on and see if everything. Yeah. It, it might yeah, be just small differences and maybe not even worth. But uh, whenever you can invest, just wonder like is just because you can invest, is it worth investing? Right? Is it going to be enough of a difference to invest all, to to warrant all of the money and all of the time that it takes to upgrade it, or is it better to just upgrade a little bit and then keep it keep it there where it is? You know. Okay. Uh, I think the last question I have is, what's the best soul to go for on a Arcana besides Lucid? Uh, besides Lucid is probably either um, Magnificent Hilla or Magnificent Magnus. Those are gonna have like okay. the biggest, uh, or yeah, Magnificent Damien. But <laughs> 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 that one has like a pretty big hitbox and is, has a pretty good uptime. Yeah. 
Yeah. No, you're cool. Yeah, is there anything else specifically you think that we missed or that you're wondering about? No, pretty thorough. Um, I got nothing else. Nothing comes to mind. Okay, you, you're like um, well, you could do a lot of things similarly for your dual blade, right? Uh, if you're yeah, yeah, yeah. in the same I think types it. of progression, in the same <laughs> the same order of like moving from one to abzo, and then you can do the pre work and everything. Yeah, I've done the exact same thing, so I have all the you know stuff that I can kind of transfer over for my dual blade as well. Yep. So same process, just slight differences. All right. Oh yeah, just. For the people at home who don't know, for the shoulders, you can do any shoulder into any shoulder, guys. It doesn't have to be the thief shoulder. It could just be a mage shoulder into a thief shoulder that works as well for transfer hammering. But you knew that, right? Yeah. Yeah. But every time I say that, there's like two people in the chat who are like, oh, fuck, I threw all of them away. <laughs> you know? no, it's I have like really painful. Really random ones. Mm hmm. Okay. Cool. Sounds good. All right, best of luck. Thank you. And I'll uh, throw it on YouTube if you need to recheck anything. Although awesome. you've been probably time, <laughs> diligently been taking notes throughout all of this, but um. Yep, I'm I'm gonna ace my test. <laughs> yes. <laughs> all right. Yeah, I appreciate the uh, the the patronage. Absolutely, man. Thank you. All right. Going, all right. You're welcome. All right. See ya.